Thanks for streaming with us. Walmart is announcing a major expansion, opening new stores and investing in its workforce, you they know, say. It's been years since Walmart has actually opened a new store, and they're focusing on online sales, but now they decide to make this multi-billion dollar investment in new locations across the country, uh, betting that uh, brick and mortar is a big part of the future of shopping. Our Elizabeth Schulze <laughs> actually spoke with the retail giants. U.S. A CEO joins us now with more. So give us a scoop. You know, guys, this is a bit of back to the future when it comes to Walmart. It's been since 2021 since they've opened new locations, and now they've announced this major expansion where 150 stores will be added across the country in various cities, they said urban areas, but also in more rural areas, to try to basically make the point that when people are shopping in the future, and they're already doing it now, first they're going online, but they still want that in-store experience. So what Walmart is doing, a little bit in, in the heels of competition, obviously from Amazon, the big behemoth there, is to try to add more stores that also serve as distribution centers. So kind of this mix of e-commerce and in-store, that's what Walmart's U.S. CEO told us is the future of shopping. They're calling it omni-channel. You can call it whatever you want, but in a lot of ways, it is that experience that so many people had before, realizing they don't want to give it up entirely to go online, guys. So the retailer says that artificial intelligence is already shaping its day-to-day -day operations, like keeping track of how much inventory is left and what's in the store. Uh, what did the CEO tell you about that? Well, I think this is important because we talk about artificial intelligence a lot, so much in the abstract, but we really tried to press the U.S. CEO about what does this look like in practice? How does this artificial intelligence change what employees are doing and what shoppers are doing? And they said that really it is making work more efficient, that they're doing these kind of jobs like tracking sales or tracking where products are in the store, figuring out exactly what's left and when orders need to be placed in advance. And we asked, well, isn't there a risk then that some of those jobs that people are doing and that we're doing that now could be replaced? Here's what the CEO told us. You know, over, over time, um, we believe that we'll have more jobs than we do today as we continue to grow. Now, the jobs will change. So we see this as, as a way to improve productivity, but more importantly, to help associates upskill, learn new skills, and, and perform at a different level. So a little bit of an admittance there that, yeah, the jobs are going to change because of this new technology, but the hope is that it will also create new jobs. And I just want to say, guys, they are making a point to try to show that because the work is changing because of technology, so is the pay. Store managers at Walmart can now make up to $400,000 every year, guys. Wow. Ooh. That's pretty that good. My, my hunch, kid. though, is that they're going to start serious regulation of artificial intelligence once it starts taking CEO jobs. Right, <laughs> that's sure. What, that's what that's it's going to take. Exactly. That's what it's going to take. Yeah. Elizabeth, thank you. We always love your insight on the business stories. Absolutely. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.